Evening, more than 12 hours later, and an Amber Alert continues for three New Mexico boys taken by their mother from a South Valley home. Deputies say the woman made threats against the children and herself. News 13's Ryan Martin joins us with the latest details. Ryan. Madeline Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies say Loria Walker Anderson was last seen with her three kids heading west on I-40. Since then, this alert has expanded to two other states where she could also be. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office says it's working closely with law enforcement in Arizona and Southern California to put an end to an Amber Alert. Based on those threats that we have from uh, a witness, we want to check on the children and make sure they're okay and check on her and make sure she's okay. Deputies are trying to track down Loria Walker Anderson after she said she planned to harm herself and her three sons, Lloyd, Lakai, and Lexington, then took off from their home near Coors and Gun Club early Sunday morning. We're here to help Loria and her children. Our concerns is their safety and their welfare. The 28-year-old was last seen heading west on I-40, possibly to Southern California, where she has family. Deputies say she left in a 2009 silver Kia Sereno with a black and yellow New Mexico Chili license plate AAYR80. The sedan has a handgun in it. There's no arrest warrant for her right now. There's no criminal charges against her. But with those statements combined with the age and vulnerability of the children, we have a very high concern. The kids are ages 6, 8, and 9. We want you just to give us a call or, or call a family member and tell us where we can meet you or where we can find the kids and make sure they're okay. While deputies are pleading to just hear from Walker Anderson. If you want to drop the kids off safely somewhere, whether it's a fire department, a hospital. They are hopeful for a happy ending. We feel very confident uh, about a possible positive outcome. The home the kids left from is where Walker Anderson and the father of the children live together. We're told the two are not married and that there's no indication of previous domestic violence between them. Madeline. Okay, thanks, Ryan. If you have any information about Walker Anderson or the kids, call 911 or text or call the number on your screen. Her